What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Need for Speed being delayed yet again. Well basically we should be saying that Need for Speed 2021, which was never really officially announced, is not going to happen this year. It's going to happen next year, so we're going to be getting Need for Speed 2022. But before we get into it, I need you guys to do me a favor and gently, tenderly tap that like button. Right, everybody's out here always telling you to smash and, and jam and crush that like button, right? Just, you know, it's got a hard time. You just have to just gently tap him, right? Now, initially my reaction was upset, as it always is when games are delayed. But then typically I try to, you know, look at it logically. And normally I don't end up being that upset when games are delayed because it's usually for the best, right? They, the, the developer needs more time to flesh out some bugs, make it a better game, whatever, right? I'd rather them take more time to ship a polished game than something that's all jacked up, right? We've seen plenty of examples of that happening, and it's never, never good. And that seems to be kind of the framework they tried to, to explain uh, when they announced this. So basically, EA's uh, chief officer told Polygon that due to pandemic working conditions and the Codemasters acquisition that they are not going to to be doing a Need for Speed this year. They're going to take Criterion, uh, who they handed the games back to after Ghost Games. Uh, they're gonna take them and put them on helping with the new Battlefield. They're gonna help out DICE with the new Battlefield because that is shipping this year. So it's not even like they're taking extra time to work on Need for Speed to make it more polished. They're just taking them off to work on Battlefield and then they can go back to Need for Speed. So it's not one of those cases where they're, they're, it seems like they're taking more time. Now, from a business standpoint, I can understand, right? In certain aspects, it does make sense. At the end, at the end of the day, you know, they are a business and they got to make money and that always, you know, irks, irks consumers and, you know, it's not always great for the fans, but at the end of the day, that's just the way it is, right? They got to make money. But there's sometimes where it just feels like they're slapping fans in the face and I feel like this is one of those where we went from the shareholders call, whatever it was, where they were just talking up how much they uh, love the Need for Speed franchise and how they want to boost it up and how Criterion and the Codemasters acquisition is really going to help their racing game, you know, arm or brand, whatever you want to talk about it, their, their, their hold on the racing genre. So they talked all that up and now their excuse for not having a need for speed is that Codemasters is coming out with F1 2020 this year to fill the void of, of a racing game. Now, I like F1, the the game. It's fun, but it is a very different game from Need for Speed. I would be willing to wager that not many of you who play Need for Speed play the F1 games and vice versa. I mean, there is some overlap. I mean, they are racing games, but one is a hardcore racing simulator and one is an arcade street racing game. <laughs> so they're very different. And it's frustrating, especially, you know, considering what happened with Need for Speed Heat, right? Need for Speed Heat at the, you know, at, was had a base of a very good game. They just was missing a lot of stuff. There wasn't a whole lot around that solid foundation that they had. And we got one update like three months after it launched uh, with two cars and a couple of races, right? That's not a very good update. I mean, the post-launch support for Need for Speed Heat has been pretty much terrible and non-existent, right? Even to this day, there's still, there's still some issues and the game's a lot of fun, but it could have been so much more. And that's what's so disappointing is that it could have been so much more. It seems like Ghost Games was trending in the right directions and then they moved it back over to Criterion, which, okay, that's fine. You know, uh, you can have your opinions on one studio or the other, but at the end of the day, right, they at least, you know, are confirming their investment in the Need for Speed franchise, right? Just like they had said they talked about. So then to turn around and have this happen, it just, it seems like they were sit there saying one thing and wanting to do another. Now. Maybe there's some more information that we don't know, right? Maybe there is still going to be some work being done and they're just taking the bulk to help with Battlefield, but it just, it seems like they're saying that we think we're going to make more money on Battlefield than Need for Speed Heat, so we're going to take the guys that we're going to make Need for Speed Heat to help make Battlefield so we can launch that on time and we'll delay Need for Speed Heat because Battlefield's more important to us. Which they're allowed to do. I mean, there's no rule that's, that says they have to please everybody. Now, I mean, you'd think that they would want to make their racing fans and Need for Speed fans happy. And if you're not happy, you should let them know about it because basically what they're saying is that uh, they don't really care all that much. And that's frustrating. I mean, you think a massive company like EA, there's gotta be somewhere else they can pull support from to help with Battlefield, right? I mean, I don't know that much about the, the inner workings of the games industry, but it certainly seems like 
Need for Speed is one of their more high-profile franchises, and they could, you know, delaying Need for Speed for the sake of Battlefield just... I, I don't know, man, I just don't get it. Why wouldn't you want both? I mean, they talked about Need for Speed Heat competing with the Codemasters games, right? They, they didn't want anything to compete with the new Codemasters games, but that's F1, right? They're, they're not competing games. And they, you know, they talked about Dirt 5 that just came out to help with that itch on the racing game, folks. But yeah, Dirt 5 is a lot of fun. I love Dirt 5. It looks beautiful, it plays great, but it's not Need for Speed, right? Need for Speed, it, it, there's, there's nothing else quite like it, right? I mean, I might be a little bit more of a Forza Horizon fan, but I've played Need for Speed my whole life, and I, I felt like we were finally getting back to what we all want in a Need for Speed game. We were turning in the right direction, so to have it delayed yet again is just, it kind of feels like we were getting kicked in the nuts, man, you know what I mean? And it's a bummer for me, too, you know, I, uh, on two levels, right? One, as a gamer, right? Yeah, I make YouTube content, uh, but I'm a gamer first, right? I make YouTube content because it's fun, I do it in my free time, right? I got a full-time job, I gotta put, you know, food on the table and stuff. So I do this for fun, and you know, as a gamer, I'm bummed that we don't have a new game coming out. And as a content creator, I'm also bummed, especially as a small content creator, because a new Need for Speed game would certainly help, uh, you know, with my growth and my growth and uh, exposing me to to new people. So, so it's a bummer, but uh, it is what it is, man. I guess at this point, well, uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully, we get uh, some good news, you know, and at. But I think it's okay to be angry. I think it's a good thing, right? Let let your voice be heard, right? You have, right? Go go on Reddit, go on Twitter, right? Voice voice your displeasure. You know, if enough people start talking about it, there's a big enough backlash. Maybe EA can you know change their mind, right? It's happened before. I'm not saying it'll happen, and I'm honestly not that optimistic that it, that it will. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't get uh, get angry if it feels you know unjust, right? It feels like Need for Speed's getting sidelined for the for the shooter fans. And I like first person shooters as much as the next guy. But I also love racing games, and I just it so to me it just it, it baffles me why they're basically saying we are gonna launch a Battlefield game instead of a Need for Speed game, right? We had to choose one or the other, so we're choosing Battlefield. I just I don't even get why they had to choose one or the other, but but I guess it is what it is. I want to hear what you guys think, though, about the, this news. Let me know down below in the comments. Are you guys as upset as I am? Do you have some some different knowledge, some some more up to date knowledge? Let me know. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new, and be sure to ring that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos. Till next time, guys. Stay classy.